Nice. So, we are going to be building a little bit more of Hamburg today. Um, I did really, really, like, really, really quickly uh, post on, uh, <laughs> like, super duper quickly post on, re on uh, not restream, what am I talking about? On um, uh, Discord, there we go, really quickly. Uh, just about, like, w what we want to stream, and, like, Hamburg came up, uh, so why not? Let's just do it. Let's just do some Hamburg. It'd be quite cool. Right, anyway, uh, I'm just going to post on to Discord so that people knew that I'm streaming on there anyway. Um, and we'll get on to that. And then we can get on to some actual building. So, uh, yeah, how is everyone this morning? It's a bit of a random stream for me. There you go, got Vico. How's it going, Vico? We also got the unnamed. We've got Save PewDiePie, okay. Don't know why PewDiePie needs saving. Uh, we've got Sparky as well. Art Player Raven, good to see you. Bank Danke, man. Uh, Ost Baron and Ryan the 13th. It is stream time. It is definitely stream time. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be cutting the... Uh, me streaming on uh, uh, Periscope and also on the other one as well. Uh, Periscope and Smashcraft. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of those, I think. So I don't think they're really doing much. Also, you probably notice I've got the webcam working again. Um, I had to like completely remove the entire webcam stuff from every single bit of it and then um, add it all back in. That was all that was wrong with OBS. So, yeah. Who knows what's going on with that. Um... You also notice that I've put in the sub goal, so uh, this is something I haven't had for ages. I haven't had a, like an actual sub goal, so I thought, you know, I actually need one. I do actually need a subscriber goal, so for 2019, I'm going to go for 150,000 subscribers. That'd be awesome. Hey, we got Serena Capuchin with got Stainy Stan. There you go, I'm going to say it right this time. Uh, Stainy Stan has got Blade Hunter as well. I'm doing good, Bank uh, Bank Dank. I'm doing pretty good, buddy. Right, there we go. I'm just going to zoom in on that. Yeah, Stainy Stan. See, I'm getting it. Or is that still wrong? <laughs> I was I was chatting to Stain Stan and also uh, to Bart as well um, the other day just on on Discord and they they told me I was saying it completely wrong. It's good, <laughs> but yeah. So do that. We also got Zarius as well. Hey Z, you're supposed to be sleeping, man. We've got to be recording later. Um, for you guys that don't know, uh, me and Zarius are going to be working on some Star Wars stuff a little bit later today, um, and it will either be streamed on my channel or be streamed on Z's channel. I'll let you guys know via like Twitter and Discord and things like that of what we're actually going to be doing. Going to be building the Lars Homestead, which is really a bit of a pain in the ass, actually. The Lars Homestead is actually a pain in the ass. So I don't know. Uh, we'll kind of see how it goes. Right, anyway, I'm going to be doing like... Like what I normally do... Um, yeah, Virgo, I got my face to work, yeah. I used to have it all the time and then just suddenly OBS broke, broke so it just didn't work. Um, but yeah, finally, finally got it to actually stay on here as well. It's quite nice and light today, so which is quite good. So, I mean, it's like weird little alcovey part, part of the front bedroom. Um, it's actually quite good. <laughs> but yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I think I'll get to the sub goal. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Uh, but yeah, anyway, this is the merchant skill that I've been working on. So, this part of Hamburg was a bit... Well, we had this like hill going right up to this thing. This thing has changed totally. Um, it, it's, at the minute, it's just like the most pointless defensive part of Hemburg. I mean, you got a whole, ho you just got a hole in here. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, you know, come on. <laughs> so I mean, I, I think what I'm going to end up doing is building like two towers on here. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a proper one, but I will have uh, proper crenellations on it and everything. I actually don't think I need it on extreme. What I'm doing. Hey, thank you so much, Stainy Stan. Is that because I got it right? So you should be able to put in some chat as well. I'm not too sure actually what the limit is uh, for what it talks out. I can't remember. I actually can't. I actually can't remember. That's really bad. Um, but anyway, what's got uh, sub to planet craft two new channel? Man, you gotta change your name. People don't sub if you put if you put sub to my channel as your actual name. People don't. It's not gonna work. I've never done that. Never work. Never gonna work. Uh, what else we got? Um, Better than previously, says Stainy Stan. Okay, well, I'm getting there, man. <laughs> Stainy Stan. Stain, Stainy Stan. Is it more like Stan? Like the R is an on kind of like sound. Something like that. Well, I'm going to anglicize it for you. Um, but anyway, two towers I think I need to cross there. Probably a port or something like that. Really, really simple little thing. Uh, Z is going to be heading off in a couple of minutes. Yeah, he's got to go to sleep. He's been doing this like weird kind of... Um, I, I actually think that Zarius might be a vampire because he's been, you know, doesn't sleep anymore. Um... Well, sleeps during the day kind of thing and in a coffin. So, I, I mean, that's pretty much, to me, is vampire. Uh, we were both doing, doing some stuff a little bit later. Yeah, man, we've got the, got the whole thing to work. Ah, oh, dear. Right. 
Right, right, right. We've got Harper BN2 as well. How's it going, man? We've also got Max de Koenig. Koenig, even Koenig. Because you got Umlaut. Right, anyway. So, anyway, 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 anyway. We are going to be doing a little bit more on the Merchant's Guild. I like it. Um, I just think it needed something here, especially with the whole, you know, the whole map, right? You know, pretty much trade is this way. There is... I can't really zoom out anymore. Oh, I can. Okay. Trade is not this way, right? So, I mean, you'd have some trade coming through this side of it, but the majority would be going up through here, would be going through the swamp part of it into the Byzantine type area here and up there and uh, all the way up here and everything like that. Like, pretty much trade central is this side of the city. So, I was kind of like looking at some buildings that we haven't actually got and some that we actually need. Uh, cool Z, thanks for coming on man. I will definitely see you later on. Uh, and we'll decide what we're doing, which which one we're going to be streaming on and then I'll, I'll let the dudes know. That'll be really good. So yeah, um, the one of the things that I needed was Merchant Skilled. We've got this list over, over here. Really over here. So we've got this list over here um, of stuff that we need, like saddle maker and construction site, mason and gladiator, training area, ferrier and embassies and burning mounds and uh, like a pyre type thing. Um, yeah, that was actually a really good idea actually to actually have somebody that's actually um, has died and they're actually having like a burial type ceremony. Like they have got a pyre on. I actually thought that was really cool. Uh, yeah, bank, goldsmith, bird shop, merchants guild, the old toy shop. That's going to be in the other stuff as well. So we'll do all of that kind of stuff. Be quite good. Um, got Martin Hoare as well. I saw something where you, f um, I saw somewhere that after you were finished Hamburg, you will post it as a download. Yeah, 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 definitely, man. Yeah, yeah, Hamburg will be up as a download. Um, I might actually do a download of it soonish, just so that you guys, because it's taken me so long to damn build. Um, so I might just put it up, uh, and then I'll just update that post. I, I don't know if, if that's something that you guys are interested in. That's not a problem. It'll just be the, I won't upload the entire map because it's, it's huge. I'll probably like cut like a good square out of it. So you've got like a, a good... Do you know what I mean? Like a good I, I, a area around it. Um, but if you guys are into that, I will. I'm, I have no problem with doing that at all. Um, Bank Dank, nice video I uploaded the other day, man. I gave you ideas to build better. Cool, thanks, man. Yeah, I've been really trying to work on it at the minute. I've been looking. I've been having a really deep review of my channel. Really deep. Um, if you guys are YouTubers, I really suggest doing it. Really suggest doing it. Um, have a look at your channel. Go, what works well, what doesn't work well. Uh, with me, the biggest thing was the intro. I had 10 seconds of an intro on my video, um, and what does it add to the video? Nothing. It just blocks you from seeing the content. You know, you click on the link, and you're then sat there going through the same intro that you've always seen on me. It's great for branding, right? It's absolutely great for branding, but absolutely terrible. Like, I, whenever I see it, I, I, I realise that I was doing this on other channels. I was going, if they had an intro, I'd skip. So what's the point in putting it in there? It's a waste of time. So I just went, get rid of that. And I had a look at some stuff and I was like, well, some of the stuff that I'm doing, like uh, the survival s survival series, like um, Mine Colonies, that just had a lot of me just like cutting down wood and stone and digging dirt. Nobody wants to see that anymore. Um, you know, if it's something important, like me building something, let me time lapse it, do you know what I mean? And I, I can do a voiceover on it telling you what I was doing, except you're just watching like an hour's work of worth of survival stuff in a minute and then you will get the point because you've already seen it already uh, I know I have anyway but anyway that's that's me like have a deep dive um, and I really want the feedback I really enjoyed how you guys were feeding back to me that's really great really good anyway um, I need to actually start <laughs> getting onto some building because we've been going for about eight minutes now and I've not done a single thing so I'm gonna switch on replay um, replay Replay, just replay. Actually, have I got? I need to make sure the uh, the button's got. I always get this. It's really weird. Recording indicator. There we go. Take that off. Recording. Cool. So we'll get on to some of this. We're gonna do it for the next episode. Uh, tell Max de Koenig where you are from. Says Manoa. Where are you from, Max? <laughs> anyway, but uh, nearly read BC. Me having to visit future uni today. What? <laughs> what are you talking about, Bart? Just remembered, um, I've got unlimited mobile data. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. How's my day been so far? Not too bad. Already been out a little bit. Actually, I need to do a floor on this. Uh, that's something we can do. I know that we're recording a time lapse bit before it, but I'll just cut all this stuff out because it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, not too bad, man. Um, pretty good, actually. Pretty damn good. Uh, you know, got 
I actually had a good night's sleep last night, which is which is really different. Because um, at the minute I've not been sleeping very well. I don't know why. I just like some days it's really good, some days it's really bad. Um, and most of them have been bad. It's just it's so weird. It's so bizarre. Uh, but yeah, quite good, quite a good night's sleep. Uh, went out, uh, had a McDonald's bagel this morning. Good healthy kind of meal there. Uh, oh damn! Last night I made the best chicken burgers I've ever made. Oh, I pressed a button. Um, yeah, I literally was just cooking up some um, literally just chicken breasts. Uh, but they, I just got them perfect. I've never nailed <laughs> one that good. Do you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, random. But uh, yeah, uh, not too bad, man. How's everybody doing? How's everyone doing this weekend? You know, have you got lots planned for the weekend? Have you already done lots like yesterday? Because usually Friday nights kind of like where you kind of start your weekend off. Generally, anyway. But I don't know. Pretty good, man. Uh, how are you, Bank Dank? I know I haven't been streaming that much as well. Uh, is this my kingdom? This is one of the kingdoms. I've got a lot, um, a lot planned. A uh, hell of a lot planned, in fact. Just tons. It's pretty good, eh? We've got 32 people on uh, YouTube. I actually need to sort that counter out. I've, I've, uh, I've played around with it too much there. I've clipped it too much. Oh no, my little counter. It cuts off the two. <laughs> that means if we go to three digits, it will not work. I can't remember how to cut it. How do you, how do you do it? No, not that. 35 people. There we go. I've fixed it now. Sorry, I'm playing around with the little little things. Um, yeah, we'll kind of see how it goes. But yeah, what I've got, I'll show you. I'll show you for the kingdom side of it. Uh, and Tron, it's no problem. Uh, and again, I know I'm recording the timelapse in the background, but I'm, this is what I, I used to be really worried about it. Now just cutting out all of the guff and all the junk like this. I'm not saying that this is junk, but uh, there you go. Switch that over to there. It'll just have my little my my person doing it. But these are the kingdoms that we've got set up at the minute. This is the current point in time. So we're actually in Aurelia. It's actually a collection of kingdoms. It's a commonwealth of a load of little kingdoms, which were broken up from the South uh, Calandrian Empire. So it's that kind of side of it. Um, South Central South. I think just South South Calandria. I think we'll call it. Um, but they've kind of like identified themselves now as Aurelia instead for whatever reason. I think we can tie that into some lore at some point. I think that'd be pretty good. Um, but anyway. We've got these kind of like storage things. So the Merchant's Guild in my head. Um, the idea behind it, you'll notice that I've detailed this side. I, I've I've not done this side, so <laughs> this side just looks terrible at the minute. But I'll, I'll get onto that like later on. Uh, same with that side as well. I've just done it. <laughs> I've just done the toilet sides of it. Um, yeah, the Merchant's Guild. So they they can like pay some money and they can use the warehouses if they're if they're a guild member. Their trade is good. They can actually use the warehouses. They can actually rent them at a really cheap price compared to it. And then that's where part of your guild money goes towards. It isn't in my head anyway. Um, so we've got kind of like that. I've got quite a few areas as well. We've got like that one that's a big one. And uh, this one as well. This one's a bit weird. I don't know what to do with this one. Because, oh god, that looks horrible actually. Um, not looking at it. It looks really bad. Really damn bad. I'm going to just... Uh, I have to apologise, guys. I I don't know what's happened. <laughs> just it just does not look right at all. Right, let's just. I think we need like a more of like that kind of thing for that side. Like more of a low down thing. We could have this here. We could technically have it go to the other side. Now it's a hill. So I think I might have this path go up um, and around this side. Um, but I think these will be able to be locked up, and they might even have guards and things like that uh, in the merchant's guild. It might even be that they've got a couple rooms at the top. Um, board rooms, obviously, you know, they're like corporate dudes, aren't they? Uh, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Bank has got to go to go and watch Liverpool. Oh, not good. Anyway. Clip film, got to work on your world painter map this weekend. Sounds good, man. Post pictures on Discord. I really do like seeing what you guys are doing because it's really cool. It's really interesting. Gabriel Beamish, good to see you, man. Vacos on a week-long vacation, man. Oh, dude, that sounds awesome. That sounds just great. Like, seriously, just try and just chillax, you know, properly relax. And just sit back and just just enjoy everything. Because um, a good vacation is one of those things that you really do need every so often. It just, just really enjoy it. Like, seriously, just chill out, relax. Oh, man, I just have a thought. We could actually have the Merchant's Guild has actually got the Assassin's Guild hidden in it somewhere. Because there's people coming and going all the time. You've got crates and things like that. So you can actually crate in, say, an assassin that's really highly wanted in this town. He can actually go into the guild and then... Maybe that's just me thinking about that. But yeah, I was just thinking like this here. I was just going to put in the shelf and now I've actually decided I don't like that at all. So I'm going to just, just completely demolish it. 
and start again. I've been doing um, some default building at the minute, and it's it's really put me off of um. <laughs> It's kind of like made me forget all the conquest stuff already. Oh, just a bit of a nightmare, right? So I'm gonna have some like shelf type things here. Uh, I might even have this one might even come out a bit like that. Yeah, let's go with this. Let's have this quite stuck out for this one, right? Yeah, do something like that. It'll just be some stuff that you can actually shove up on this thing. Bigger man, so glad you streamed this early for me, doing some programming. Hey, man, what are you programming? What are you what what are you programming, man? Because uh, that's what I do for a job, kind of. It's a bit weird. Um, I'm actually I actually work like mostly on databases and interfaces and stuff like that. But it's I think of it as programming because of because um, I am writing programs, <laughs> uh, pretty much. You know? Oh man. Yeah, what 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 kind of languages are you doing? You doing some Java, C sharp, or um, cause like I do a lot of uh, obviously SQL from the database side of it, but uh, a lot of other stuff as well. So I don't know what we're going to store in this one. Um, don't know if you guys have got any ideas. We can maybe have the. I don't think we'd have food stores because I think people would steal it. Yeah, I don't know. I think people would steal it. Uh, Banknotes have been building some ships. Uh, if you want to send, yep, yeah, send some pictures over, man. Um, Twitter or Discord. Discord's pretty good. We've got three different channels for Discord. We've got Conquest, Vanilla, and um, we've got Modern as well. But there's also uh, world building, so if it's like more of a world building thing, like world painter type stuff, we've got a channel for that. Um, and if you're ever not sure, um, just shove it in promotion, you know? Just obviously shove it in promotion. Uh, Serena Capuchin, anyone know any good free editing software? I actually grabbed... Uh, Humble Bundle is one to look out for, because I actually grabbed um, Vegas... 14 for something like five pounds uh, you know what I mean like I've been working on 13 for ages so I've got that um, that's awesome do you know what I mean absolutely awesome so I think we we'll have some barrels around here like almost like we have some like here but you know the other way around these are gigantic I feel like Donkey Kong um, <laughs> yeah so we'll have some barrels around here we'll have some stuff like that let's get the whole ripple tool where's my chat gone I just realised that my chat's not working. That's because I I turned it off. That's that'd be why. Could be why it's uh, disappeared. Um, but yeah, I I I would actually check out one of those ones. But I don't know of any free ones as such. So hopefully you guys do in the assassins and crates, rebels and barrels. It's going to be a trend. It is absolutely uh, absolutely. Lotus Lessus, thank you very much for following, man. Really do appreciate it. Don't know what that was on either. Was that on? I guess that was on Twitch. I don't know. Uh. Uh, Martin uh, Horror says about the Hembo build. Uh, download that would be super nice. Don't know how much trouble it would be for you, but uh, I wouldn't mind posting the current Hembo. Yeah, that's cool. That's not a problem. You'd need, obviously, the Conquest Reforge mod, but yeah, I'll look at doing that. Uh, I've got quite a few things to do later on today, so probably probably in a week or so, about that. Um, but I'll post it on Discord. I'll put I'll, I'll post a link on Discord. Uh, if you follow me on there, if you've got Discord, then, then just join our channel. If you go on my main... YouTube channel page, you'll see the little Discord symbol. It's tiny, really. I don't know why. I don't know why YouTube's done it that way, but um, yeah, you can feel free to just jump onto that and and just kind of like have a look at everything. Just gonna do these. I always like these like that, but I actually think stacking a load of barrels would be quite a good thing, and maybe even having have one like open like that. Uh, I could do have wheels as well. Wheels always look good on these. Always look damn good. Not like that though. <laughs> like that instead. So you can actually have like this one I'll have thingy on it. Yeah, something like that. Um uh, I might even have that one open and I need some rope or something. That's what I want. Some rope. Some rope. Which one do I want? Ah, uh, that one. Oh, I, I never see it. Now that they've changed this symbol, I've not been able to see it. Yeah. And obviously we're going to have to go to there. So if we do that, get rid of that, put that in there. Don't need that there. Right, so I'll just tie that up there. That's the idea anyway. It's kind of like, you know, you can kind of get the idea that it's a bit tied. It's not not really. Um, oh, Lightworks, for example. Got have ones. Only free one is Movie Maker on Windows. Man, that is terrible. I, I, use, I started with that. I honestly started using that. Um, like when I, when I started. 
but yeah, I would I would keep an eye out for Humble Bundle. Um, it's really good. Now Vigo, I'm I haven't seen you. Mostly use Java. Ah, well you program for fun. Fair enough. Um, I'd definitely recommend going to C Sharp just because you, it's like similar, but um, it doesn't really matter if you if you, if you use .NET Framework, you're fine. Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't really matter what you lay on top. It's just that if you're doing bigger applications, um, especially from what I've seen in, in working in the NHS, uh, the Java ones are usually slower, and it, they are written well. Uh, both are written well, but they just seem to run slower. Um, for for the bigger stuff, like when you go on hundreds of thousands of people, that's what I'm talking about. Like it is, it, and that's it. But it's absolutely fine. It's it's a nice, easy language to learn. Obviously, for Minecraft, it's really good because you can just mod, um, and that's pretty good. JSON, however, uh, if you're doing any sort of web APIs, I would recommend using JSON over. Um, over using XML, um, you'll find it's a lot easier to work with. It is just a lot easier to work with, but I mean, it's not actually. It's the same, but people find it easier. <laughs> like me, I don't know. I, actually, no, I, I I use both. It doesn't really matter what you use. Use JSON though, because everybody else uses JSON <laughs> for everything. <laughs> yeah, that's my words of wisdom when I'm getting confused. Um, I'm just like, wait, do I, do, should you use that? Should I be recommending that? I don't know. Should I? I don't know. Maybe. I'm just cramming this with freaking crates everywhere, aren't I? That's all I really want to do. Uh, I need some, like, half crates and stuff. Oh, I finally got um, the Wheel of Wonder. I have now added that to uh, <laughs> my vanilla world as well that, that I'm working on. Uh, so, oh, my God. Look at that green snail of... Green... No, snake of doom. Um... Yeah, finally added that to, to everything. That looks great. Right, okay, so crap up there. This is just going to be general, just stuff that's just come in and just has been just left here, really. I don't really want anything else, and it'll kind of just work. We could have some stuff. No, that doesn't fit. We could have, like, crap like this, and uh, I don't think they'd have anything else. Barrel of coal, that would be quite a good one to have around. Because they'd have a guard posted around. I probably do need to put a door on this thing. Um... Yeah, I need to put a door in this thing. Let's get some wooden... The same door that we use for everything, really. Uh, which is kind of bad, but... Uh, if we go this way, four, yeah. We need three blocks in total, so we'll go there, there, and then there. Have it angled out. Do the typical kind of thing. Like this. Yeah. So, a big door like that one, on this one, anyway. Uh, or two doors. This is the problem with the three blocks wide. You end up having, like, these weird kind of, like, things, don't you? I just always find you do. And also, what do you think of this mix? I, I kind of like it and don't like it at the same time. It's I've tried to make it look like they tried to pattern it at some point, and it's just really worn out, really, really worn out. Anyway. Um, Trillerton, always use the barrels instead of using the wheels. Always turn the barrels. Turn the barrels instead of using the... Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, true, I get you. Yeah, yeah, like this. So you'd always use that one rather than this one. I kind of like a bit of both because it, then you get this little bit sticking out. No one's ever going to notice it if, except for me. Um, not even in the slightest. I, I'm quite aware of that, but... <laughs> I quite like it. I don't know why. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I just... I quite... Yeah, actually, it doesn't look that good. I don't know, Trill. You might be right. <laughs> <laughs> you might be right, man. Uh, who else we got? Figureman uses C sharp currently. Good man. Good man. That's very good. Also, if you ever want to get into healthcare, into systems cache, um, I'm an expert on into systems cache. I freaking love that language. Like literally, most of the stuff I write is in that because of um, uh, a piece of software we got called an integration engine. Yeah, sounds cool. Sounds badass. That's because it allows you to. Well, it's it's like got a load of pre-built component type stuff that you can then just ping off. Uh, and do stuff with, so we do a lot of stuff, but yeah, it's it's very good. I'm just going to have this one as being closed, I think. Yeah, I think we'll have this one as closed, but I'll have a door on it or something like that, so that it's like, uh, this could be where the, where the Assassin's Guild is or something. Oh, why am I doing this? I'll just put the blocks down and delete them. It's not like I'm going to forget. I have a door on that side. No, I have the door in the middle. I'll decide it in a second. Um... But yeah, there's quite a f quite a few good languages. C sharp is one of the ones that I found um, one of the best. It's one of the more rounded ones, um, definitely without a doubt. D 
Java is still exactly the same though. Who knows? Java is still incredibly good. That looks alright. A little bit crap, but I'll do. Um, thing, those doors look fine, and then as soon as you put like something like this on, it just looks like crap. Uh, but that's fine. Yeah, we could have some crap in there, but for now we can just ignore it. Uh, food. I think food storage could be what would be in here. This would be more valuable stuff. I think we could have this more warehousey. Yeah, we could actually have this more like an actual warehouse rather than just like a like this kind of store that we got here. So this is just like a store, you know. I think we need more chests and things like that. crates, chests, everything. Um, yeah, something like this. Oh yeah, the other thing I forgot. Um, I haven't actually mentioned this much, but I have actually got a second channel for for scripting called DakaScript. Um, I've not done any C sharp or anything like that on it yet. Uh, I am planning on doing some, but I just haven't got around to it. It's one of those things. Uh, we've also got a coal that we can shove on the floor, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Charcoal, apparently. There we go. Shove that on the floor. It's all spilled out. Um, yeah, I have done. I have started to do some like database design, and all that kind of stuff, and how you go through it logically. Um, it's not too bad, you know. I'm getting there on on that channel. It's just, it's like it's one of those. It's like a second. It's a proper second channel, you know, where I'm not really too worried about um, uploading to it at all. <laughs> it's just like if I have something that that I've learned and I want to take note of it, or something that's been like I've had to research at work. Um, I then tend to make a video on. On it, you know, so that's quite different. Anyway, hey, we've got Fiona Danger as well. How's it going? Uh, Fiona finds uh, XML much easier than JSON. Depends, because I've um, in the NHS, right? So what we've got is we, for our APIs, our web APIs, we actually have to be able to do it where you can say format in the URI. Um, and then you can actually specify XML or JSON. Um, and at first, I preferred XML. I just, you know, like I was very much like of that mindset, that kind of older mindset. Then when I started just going into PowerShell uh, and actually calling web APIs with that, like the Google ones, the Google's got a load of APIs. Um, I actually found that the XML was a lot easier just to, to move through. It's exactly the same, but I don't know why I found it easier. And the thing is, I'm I'm very much like... Uh, more XML based than anything else, but it's interesting that we we can actually uh, do posts and puts and uh, gets and everything, and we can we can actually specify. It's a really good way of doing it. Fiona likes to mix on the floor. Cool. Thank you very much, Fiona. Yeah, I'm quite I'm quite happy with it. It's my idea really was that you know it had like this pattern at some point, and then some bits have been scratched, and then some bits have been worn, and uh, it's kind of worn down a bit over the ages. Like like they they you know the first time they built it, it was all nice, and then you got all this mud treadle in and I haven't done any of like the little stuff like uh, obviously you know putting in little bits like that and whatever but um I quite like it I'm, I'm glad you like it too because I'm happy with it <laughs> pretty happy with it I mean I wouldn't say I was you know amazingly happy with it but like I, I could spend like a year or so you know just tweaking it but I'm not I'm not going to because that would that would take a year <laughs> right anyway it's quite good so, um, anyway, bang dang, what building is this? It's a Merchant's Guild. This is the Merchant's Guild. Um, it was actually based, I typed, typed in Merchant's Guild on uh, Google and there was like a picture and it came up and, and it had this whole style and then I ended up tweaking it a little bit, but it had like this kind of tower. I don't think it had a tower there, or I just put it in there. Um, but it had like these windows uh, design and everything like that and I just thought, this looks really cool, this looks really good and it had like a smaller area down here, it's a lot smaller. Uh, so I kind of like extended that because of the where 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 the entrance is. So you kind of got the entrance on here. Uh, you can then like walk into like the hall, and then you can stand over here, and you get this really nice view of of everything going on. So at least you can get to each part, and we'll probably have some sort of hall thing somewhere. I don't know. Um, boardrooms, obviously, loads of boardrooms. Yeah, Whew. gotta have loads. But I'm I'm happy with how it turned out. I think it's got that kind of stats to it. I also built a mages tower for the uh, the mages guild. Honestly, don't know if I like it or not. Um, really don't know. I just it it looks like a mage's tower. It looks like a typical Minecraft mage's tower, and for that it works. But um, don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know if it'll stay or not. It just it just looks just it just looks like I've shoved a tower in the middle of middle of this place. So 
Um, figure man, jungle door might look better instead of the uh, instead of the current one in the big gate. Yeah, you are right, Vigo. I was actually thinking this when I put it down, and I was like, I can't be bothered to go and grab it. But if you've noticed as well, and telling me that quite simply means I got to do something. So, yeah. Just catch what are we building at the moment? Uh, I answered that one, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, what about the spice from the in Eastern Kingdoms? Absolutely, we gotta get spice and things like that. You're right. Yeah, we have got. We have actually got spice, haven't we? I think. Cocoa. No, we got cocoa, not spice. Well, we can have that kind of stuff. Oh, we wouldn't want fish, though, would you? We would not want to store fish in one of these, would you? Right, this thing here. Uh, now we need to finish this one because time lapse wise, we're gonna be moving from this side to not being able to see in there at all. So I don't even need to worry about that at the minute, which is good. So let's do some stuff like that. Right, so. Uh, what's my jump? Bang, dang. Are you a paramedic? You work every day except Saturday. Damn, man. Cool. Um, yeah, I work in IT in the NHS, so I'm a, I'm a database and interface specialist. Sounds cool. Um, basically, uh, in Cornwall, we've got, we've got like one major IT department for the two major trusts and a couple of other little mini trusts. Um, so I work for the IT department doing that. I'm a team of in a team of um, seven, uh, eight of us in total, but there's only really four DBA guys, and there's only two interface guys, and I'm one of those two. So we get to do all of the linking up of different systems and all that kind of stuff. It's really really interesting. Um, but yeah, that's cool. It's cool that you're a paramedic, man. Did not know that bank bank. I would not have expected. I don't like this. <laughs> I, I like the floor, right up up above. I do not like this. It just looks too light. I would expect, expect it to be like dark and miserable. That's what I want. And I know I said I wasn't going to go into this back thing over here, but uh, I, I kind of want to now. Uh, I think we can have the, the guild in here, whether it goes into this one or whatever, I don't know. Um, we'll see. Like the Major's Tower, just connect it with a sort of closed bridge to the ma Major's Guild. Yeah, I think for that I'll have to move it a little bit. Because uh, at the minute, obviously, well, well, actually, we could, um, in fact, we could do like an extension onto this, so it's like, uh, you know, like a little walkway that goes onto this side. We could actually connect that at a nice angle onto this or something like that. I don't know, something like that. We could do, yeah, something like that. God knows. Whew. So, jo uh, General George has got us, would stay, but uh, got to work, so no worries, man. Uh, go enjoy work. Try and actually enjoy work, if you can. If it's not possible, then tough. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. Ah, North Wales. Ah, well, you've got different stuff, man. The the NHS is so rubbish with this because, uh, like, Wales and Ireland and Scotland, we're not allowed to, like, transfer data between them, which just makes no sense. And they have different standards for things. It's just like, why? So there's a lot of, lot of just stuff that really annoys me. Um... Really, really annoys me. I'm actually going with the vertical slabs here. Have this like go all the way up, like just a huge thing, uh, going like that, and put those in. Go away. Put those in there. I'll just go for for the time being something like you know, yeah, like that or whatever. Yeah, we'll have like stuff going up there, and we'll have loads of shelves, and then at the back we'll have some loads of shelves and stuff like that. I'm not. I'm not too worried about it at the minute, but I think we'll probably end up doing at least something like this. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. We'll see how it goes. I also got Rex stop. Sorry if I'm uh, missing comments, guys. We've got 43 people on the stream, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing. Um, but I am totally missing comments at the minute, so I do apologise. Uh, it just is a nightmare. It's got Caden Gamer Dude as well. Uh, nobody, please. Oh yeah, I just read your comment, didn't I? Nobody. Uh, Claren Shannon as well. Uh, kind of haps hazard here and there, all over the place. Raised, uh, over the place. Raised in exterior walkway is super wizardy. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that'll be a good thing. All right. Let's get that as a comment on a block. Where's the blocks? Planning sign. Planning. Planning. I just want a general planning sign. Comment. There we go. Uh, even better. Well, whatever. Um, walk way thing to uh, Mage's Tower. That'll do. 
you know I mean? Like that'll that'll jog my memory. Well, I like the I like what it looks like inside already. Even if there's nothing in there. I kinda went for this wood as well because it looks quite fancy. It's like they've had to import it. That's the idea, you know. They're flaunting their wealth, you know, that kind of thing. So uh quite good. We could also do with some like um what else are we doing here actually? This bit here is a bit crap, so I think we could do with something there. Was I going to do a walkway up here? I don't think so. I think if we... We need like something here. I can't decide what, <laughs> I can't decide what that something is. I can imagine, right, mer wealthy merchants would definitely, without a doubt... So if we go for like... Uh, let's do some angled stuff. Right, let's get some wool out so I can actually plan what kind of angle I want to do, because obviously the, the obvious one is diagonal right here, right? Um, I don't really want to do that unless we... Actually, no, I think we're going to have to do that. Three, four, and then go for six, something like that. Um, I think they would come on, like, uh, you know, they have horses and things like that, So I th and, and this, this hill's pretty bad. So I have a feeling that they would do, you know, something that goes raised up here, um... And actually is down like that would make a lot of sense, at least to me. I'll go with this orange wall for the time being. We can always mask it later on, you know. We can actually have this, and it'll kind of like, uh, probably soften this hill. I know it's at a diagonal. I'm, I don't really like the 45 degree stuff. Um, I'm really not liking it that much. I think it just, I don't know, um, the proper angle stuff really looks good now. Hey, Stanley Sand, I'm going to build myself some things in my Roman world. Cool, man. Make sure you do tweet them at me, or, well, Discord them at me. You're always on Discord. Uh, with your new name. God damn it, Stanley Stan. I don't know why you've done that. You forgot your goddamn <laughs> count login. Doesn't make any sense. Can't you, like, reset it? God. Get your two factor authentication set up and get on resetting that. That's what you need. That's what you should do. I just realised it would be really good if we had a post in the middle of this. <laughs> I got I got three things, haven't I? So okay, let's let's just move this over one. It doesn't really matter where how big it is at all. Right, shove this in here. Uh, right, see ya. Um, 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 um that there, let's put them on those. My browser's also not scrolling for me. Uh, get back into it. Uh, bang, bang, yesterday was a crash and a pole um, went through someone's thigh. It was brutal. Damn, that does not sound good. See, that's that's what I prefer with my computers, man. If they crash, we turn it on and off again. That's it. I'd much prefer that. You you and your paramedic stuff, well, that's... Uh, <laughs> that's much more brutal. <laughs> so damn brutal. You know? Ugh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I just I don't know if I could do that. Um, my other half's a, a nurse as well. So anyway, uh, right, we've got Vlad right. So you already done that. What two factor? And you didn't? You can? Did you just like not have a device to like check it with or whatever? You know, because you're set up with a phone number. So yeah, you need to sort that out, man. But anyway, thank you very much, uh, Caden Gamer Dude says. Uh, Yo, I sub. Thank you very much. But it should come up with a message if you sub. Yeah. See, it should be go on my screen. Actually, I don't think it does. Well, does it or not? Give me a sec. I'm going to go on to Streamlabs quickly. Um, I think I set my widget up to do that. Uh, view account, end credits, sponsor, ba sponsor banner. Oh, sponsor logos on the screen streamer channel. That's interesting. Um, didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Uh, la, 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 la. Events list. Chat box alert box. That's the one I want. Right. Let me see if subscribers are turned on for it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So if you subscribe to um to it, you should get a message come up. It might be that it's delayed. I mean, it's totally possible. Um, who who knows? Uh, bank notes. So I'll be building more ships. Uh, some loved them. Yes, uh, I've been I've been working quite a lot on the Queen Anne's Revenge. I've actually converted it over to default the last couple days. Um, so I've been working on that. I'm going to have a time lapse coming out for that. Well, I just finished actually. Um, 
So I was, I was like, oh, I'm going to have a time lapse coming out for that. And I'm like, I haven't finished it. So how do I know when it's going to come out? I don't. Yeah, um, there's going to be a time lapse coming out for that one, actually. Which is quite interesting. Because I was rebuilding it, I was like, actually. Um, converting over to... Converting over to uh, Conquest is a nightmare. Um, really is. So, I wonder if that's that too low. Might have to do some... I have to do some stuff. Um, yeah, converting over to Conquest was a bit of a nightmare. It's a little bit of a nightmare. Um, so I just ended up building it from scratch, and I was like, actually, I could time lapse this. It might look quite cool. And it's also gonna, it's also gonna like give me some, in, uh, not inspiration, give me some motivation for finishing it because um, then I've got a video. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, whereas at the minute, if I'm just building it, it'll be for a tutorial that I haven't done yet, and therefore, like, it just seems like a chore. <laughs> Honest. So yeah, Queen Anne's Revenge be the next one. Um, I'll probably get on to some other ships at some point. The modern stuff, I'm also converting that world over to default as well. So um, it will be an actual default world. And there's a couple reasons for that. I really liked, you know, how it looked with the texture pack I was working on. But I've then got to finish that texture pack. That's a huge undertaking. This looks really freaking weird. Um, it's a huge undertaking to actually, uh, you know, do a text pack, um, and especially one for the Conquest mod, and there's also the problem with uh, me doing tutorials, because then I've got to convert them over to default anyway, so it's like, it's just too much effort, do you know what I mean? So, I, and I can't put up a world download, people will get confused and won't realise you have to use a Conquest mod, and do you know what I mean? It was just like a mess, so I've started to convert the airbase air over, and that's that's taken a long, long time actually, um, even with just a couple basic blocks, I, I think anyone that's done done it before will will know my pain uh, absolutely but you know we'll, we'll get there definitely we will definitely get there what is going on with this goddamn thing uh, okay so I've got that one goes two blocks so that one goes to there no it can't go to there that's silly it just sticks out right and then there's one behind it okay oh that's where that one goes right okay then we can have this going there yeah forgot that one going there that's all right is, is that what I've done on the other side no. <laughs> oh, right, okay, that's what I've done on the other side, okay. Yeah. And uh, then this is wrong. How can I make something different each damn time? It doesn't matter anyway, I'm going to be messing it up in a bit. Um, right, okay. So let's get some brushes. I need some brushes. I just realised my, my chat's really big as well on, on the thing. Hey, we've got Mitchy. How's it going, Mitchy? Good to see you. Alright, so what else we got? Let's get this here. I'm just trying to get comfortable with my chair. Jeremy Hulja. Hulja? Hulja? Uh, Asif Shah as well. How's it going? Uh, what am I building? Kind of shed. It's um, uh, stable stable for some horses and things like that. Cliff Film, have I ever thought about doing a village transformation? Yes. Um, seems to, these videos seem to be get, uh, popular and interesting. They are. It's one of those, I, if I'm going to do it, the, what I've decided, Clip, is um, that at some point we'll get like a server going uh, and I'm going to get you guys to build it with me. Because what, what I want from a village transformation is something that looks really cool. So, for example, we take the desert village uh, and we go, okay, it's got these kind of buildings, it's got that, it's got that. Let's let's actually, rather than just doing a transformation, because, uh, well, actually, no, bleh, let me start again. The transformation stuff, right? Some of them, what they do is they use the base buildings and they improve it. Other transformations, they bin the whole thing and start again. And they say it's a transformation, but really what they mean is, I'm building a village. It just happens that there was a default village there, and I'm pretending that I've done something. Um, so those are the two that I see anyway. Those are the two things that I see as different. I quite like the idea of of just going and building like a desert style village or whatever, you know. Um, but I've decided to do that with you guys, so I'm going to do some, like, um, get, like, a little team together or something like that. Probably around 10 people, something like that. Something like that will do. Oh, it's pronounced, uh, hey, uh, okay, cool. Sorry, sorry, Jeremy. Man, it's, uh, you Dutch people. <laughs> it's got to be Dutch. It's, there's no, there's no way it could be that difficult without it being Dutch, do you know what I mean? Goddamn people. <laughs> and their language. <laughs> Making things difficult for everyone else. All these people having to try and pronounce these Dutch names, which it, it's not too bad Dutch. It's just your goddamn writing doesn't make any sense to any anybody. 
no one except for you. Uh, this is terrible. What, how am I doing? What am I trying to do? What am I actually trying to do here? Come on. Let's get sorted. Um, I think this could be actually be quite a nice, like a different block of some kind, but I'm thinking actually that might not work. And yeah, I know this is a bit of a crap building. Um, I can always come back and destroy it and start again, so it's not too bad. That's the other thing about the time lapses I quite like, um, and I've decided to do is just, you know, if I need to, if I need to annihilate it, I will annihilate the building completely, without question. Now, <laughs> didn't used to do that before. <laughs> right, uh, have something like that. I think this we need a different block. We need something that's a bit more. I think it'd be a little bit ornate. Personally, I think that's what they would go for. So. If we get something like that in there, just I think we need something. We've not got any other stuff in there. That's annoying. Could we go for? Well, we could go for like those three, and I know I have it on the sides and everything, but that's fine. Yeah, go for. All right, okay, go for this for now. Then we'll go with like these or whatever. Um, and that needs to be changed something else it does not fit at the minute okay go with one of those so the top looks terrible just cover that up <laughs> yep that's the way you do it just <laughs> just cover it up with a, a trap door that does not fit at all I mean that is I couldn't have chosen a worse block actually I could have done I, I, I tell a lie I definitely could have chosen a worse block Sorry guys, I will catch up on the chat in a second. I'm just getting a bit distracted. By the way, my, my camera's actually flipped around. It's really it's freaked me out because um I was looking at it and when I read the chat when I read the chat, I'm actually looking at I, I was looking away from the screen, so I, I flipped the um flipped it around, right? Which makes sense. A lot of sense. Um But because of that, whenever I see it it's like I'm I'm the wrong way around to myself. Uh, not that it matters, but Oh, Maybe I just need it plain. Maybe I just need it as a, as a pillar. And we have the other bits as detailed. So I don't think it's working. Yeah, something like that. Right, anyway. Uh, Stain stand. Team Dact. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Team Team Daka. Team Daka. Daka Duba. Now, we'll just... It'll be part of... Um, we've been chatting on, on Discord about, like, server type stuff. And we'll just... We'll do something. It'll be all in default. It'll be quite fun. And I think that that's what I kind of like. Yeah. If I did, did one of the second transformations in my personal world, gonna uh, need to tear it down anyways, uh, as it was enjoyable to use the OG layout. Uh, for sure, it's unrecognizable. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? It's it's one of those things. I quite like. I keep on coming back to deserts, the desert village, right? The reason being that I I've always wanted to do like an Arabic build, but not on such a huge scale. Um, so that's why I keep on coming back to desert. By the way, just just so that you guys know. Uh, and it is purely for that reason. It's this Hightail, I wish. I, I, I can't wait for Hightail. Uh, if, if it's as good as it, as it, as it looks and seems, uh, I will play the crap out of Hightail. I'll actually do survival like mad on Hightail. I really will. Because the what, I, what I'd love to do on Hightail, right, if we, if we get it, I would like to set up a little server, donators, free to come in, and we start a proper community on there. Like, literally, we start a town together. And we all have little jobs, because you could, like, in Hightail, obviously, build, like, a... Uh, well, like, Minecraft, really. You could build, like, a hunter's hut inside, like, a little encampment-type village. Uh, and then they could go out and hunt. And because the AI is there, I actually think you could totally RP that. Um, and obviously, I will be sat in my gigantic Lord's Manor while you guys go and chop wood and get me meat and all that kind of stuff. That'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> not joking. But do you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'd really like to do. I think that'd be cool. Uh, right, anyway. Hmm... Just looking at the materials and all that kind of stuff that I actually need. Uh, What's going to be the wealthiest city in my world? It would have been whatever the capital of um, the unnamed capital, actually. I really haven't got a name of Calandria. would have been the wealthiest because of the Empire. So, um, the Galactic Empire. Blah. Uh, right, so, yeah, the one that it would be. Whoop, there we go. 
Um, Calandria, basically, they they completely took over Vega, Brief, Vestia, Aelon, Oradia, Mesclan here, the Byzantine part. They also had some of this coast here. They also colonized this island. And even up here as well, they started to colonize, then lost it very quickly. This was a colony, uh, but only for a like, short amount of time. And then it kind of collapsed into like the um, different parts of the empire, kind of like collapsed as it went. Do you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff, like typical kind of what happens with empires really, they, they get too big and they, they start to have issues on that kind of grand scale. Really, your empire is only as big as, you, or as good as your communication channels, but yeah, so that would have collapsed. So Calandria probably would be the richest at one point, definitely. Definitely, 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 I reckon. Who knows? Am I on PSN? No, no, PC. PC, man, get with the, get with the PC. Get with the times. Um, we can do some stuff on here anyway, just realised. Like, can we do some stuff where we try and make this look a little bit more better? Better, nicer, stronger type thing. Just not like that. <laughs> uh, oh no, we can't do that. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Yeah. Okay. I was just trying to think of something that we could do. Yeah, we'll just do this by some fangs on the whole thing. It'll be like some sort of weird... This now looks like some weird woodland... This is where you keep spiders or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like fangs coming down. That's quite a good idea, actually. Feel free to use that, by the way. Make a on angle thing with fangs, and this is where you keep your spiders in it. That'd be great. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Maybe I'll just keep it like that. Just to add in like a little bit more of it being stuck out and everything. Fence-wise, I think I'd have some quite nice fence, personally. Um, of course, we're a bit stuck for fence that's nice on an angle, but there are some, at least. Uh, brown painted, yeah, we could have it actually painted, couldn't we? Just obviously, is that fence or fence gate? I think it's fence. Uh, fence. It's a fence. Okay. Right, how's this going to fit in, then? Yeah, it's the only problem. <laughs> It's the only problem, well, not really. But it's, it's a problem. Meh, that looks alright. So this is supposed to be like a fancier part of the whole whole thing anyway. And then, yeah, we can have those like little gates. They kind of work. Um, I just, I still don't like it. There's something I really don't like about it. I think it's because of... What don't I like about it? I think it's because it doesn't feel like it's actually going across like that at all. I think we need something else in like here or no, I don't need that. I need I need something though. I, I definitely need something. Like what? Let's get our normal spruce. Or or something else. Like uh, not that. Not that, not that. Not that. What's what's that one like? Mm. Just need something some other colour in there. Uh, I think Hamburg needs a un hidden underground type uh, ish pub where they can gamble or buy drugs and other illegal things. Oh man, have you not seen? <laughs> I mean, this isn't this isn't for like that kind of stuff, but uh, down this dude's house here, <laughs> this is like uh, as you can probably tell what this stuff is. Uh, this is like where they can go and get some drugs and things like that, and it's just in behind everything. I, I made it properly hidden so that even the wall around here, even if you're a guard walking around, you can't really tell it's down there. Not unless you knew it was there, so they'd go into the arena and they might come out of the arena and then and then do that kind of stuff. Yeah, I already thought about that, man. Yeah, that's the way. Clandrians made it all the way up to the East Asian Kingdoms. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. They've. They, I've been changing it, Bloodborne Duck. I have been changing it. Don't worry. It's not. It's not on the website yet at all, but I have been thinking about it because I was thinking about having like, um, you know, how did things work? Because the uh, area that's uh, it's it's seriously just to to satisfy some stuff that I want to be building. This area here, this thing here. Um, the reason I did this in the middle of like this this proper, it's like an inland sea, I guess you could call it, or lake or whatever. Um, but it's obviously got salt water in it. The reason that this is here is purely so that I can build like an imperial city type thing. So it's got to be like that kind of style rather than the oriental Asian type style. Yeah. We got a lantern to draw the eyes away from the ends. Ah, okay. Is that what it is? Is that what it's, is that what it's missing? Let's get a lantern out. But you're right. It actually, actually it's something I've not been doing a lot in my 
Oh my god, that's weird. Flans mod. Um, let's get medium light. Yeah, we'll have something like this. We'll get get lag. We'll get a lot of lag, apparently. <laughs> it's bizarre when I get that. It's just random lag. I'm actually thinking... Oh, no, that's not going to work. All right. I can actually have like free lights on it. On it. I don't know why I ended up doing doing it there. Even like building all the way up. It's a bit bizarre. It's either that, or we just do it on. This, I'm actually now thinking just on the sides of it. Because then we can get rid of that one. Uh, we could have something else hanging up here, maybe. Something else, just who knows what, but something else can hang there. Maybe they're afraid of vampires. It just looks too, um, looks way too, uh, thingy. So the calendar is like the Macedonian Empire, which reached uh, to India. If only. Um, I'm thinking more like, uh, Rome kind of thing, but, but yeah, yeah, similar kind of, similar kind of like, Whoa, they got massive, do you know what I mean? And then then it just it just crumbled. Communication and, and different family kind of things. Actually very similar to the Macedonian Empire. Um very similar because of the way that it crumbled into these like Seleucid Empire and and all that kind of stuff, yeah. So definitely interesting. Very interesting time, all that. Uh what can we have up here? Um, bag. Well we're gonna do a bloody bag. Nothing. I'm wondering if actually what it is needing is like an overhang anyway, regardless of anything being on that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's what it actually needed, guys. Uh, I really like the lamp idea, though. I really like that. Really good. But it also needed that, <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Anyway, hey, we got a Russian dude. How's it going, man? We got uh, Jose as well. Munoz, Munoz, Munoz. Is it like Munoz? Is that is that out? I'm probably m murdering it, but something like that. Maybe I don't know. Hey, Vader Moore, did I just see you on there as well? I'm sure, I saw Vader Moore. Yeah, Vader Moore. Oh, it was v Vader Moore. It was you that said about this? Oh, thanks, man. It's been a while since I've seen you as well on here. Don't know why I just didn't see your name at all. Like in my in my head, it didn't exist. So yeah, we'll have some stuff in there and not that cauldron. The other one. That one. That one. That one, yeah. So we need a some water and we also need a glass bowl as well. Oh yeah. Um but yeah, so hopefully you guys have been able to see the new episode of Silver Sage and how I'm planning on doing everything now. Hey we got a Twitch streamer, thanks thanks man. That's coming on to, onto the Twitch as well. It's always good to have a mix of like different people. Um yeah, so hopefully you've Guys have had a chance to see um, the latest Silver Sage video, uh, and let me know what you think. Anyway, I know I've had a couple of comments on it already, and there's some stuff that we still need to improve, which is cool. Um, I think if you ran out of stuff to improve, then you've never got anything to kind of like, you know, aspire to, like move towards. So it's really good to have all of that feedback. Uh, so do keep that coming; it's really good. Um, I keep on putting that one down. I need to get rid of this one, um, definitely. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the format. If you prefer it, I know it's quite a short video. That's the that's one of the things that that I wasn't planning on being that short. It's because I cut out bits, uh, which is something that I need to do more and more often. Really, is just start really cutting in and just just giving you guys the really good stuff. You know, that's the way it is. Um, so I'm going to start doing that quite a lot. It should be quite good. I think my chat's got screwed. <coughs> I've just got to reload the chat. It's just um. I think it's just died. There we go, that's better. Um, yeah, so we will... Yeah, I'm going to plan on doing a lot of like stuff like that in the future. Let's get some fodder out. I never use this ever, you know? Let's use it. Let's put some up here. Let's have some food on that side. We'll have some just like thatchy hay stuff. Hay, thatch... thatch there we go, that one there. I'll have this kind of stuff around. I'll just realise, yeah, get that one there, that one there, there. It's there. There you go. Might be chat's died. Might be the whole thing's died. Um, <laughs> so there's like no chat messages at all, which is really weird. So I'm wondering if it actually has. Let me get 
Let me get the, the normal one up. Just my YouTube one, because I know that you guys will be on there on YouTube, so it's fine. While it's just, it might just be it's lagging. Is the other thing. Oh, there you go. That's fine. You guys just aren't talking. Ugh. Ugh. That's not fair. That's not good. You got. You guys got to interact with me, man. Come on. Post some comments. <laughs> I don't know. That's fine. It's cool. Um, it's always just worrying when it just like suddenly stops because we had it the um, uh, not too long ago where it literally just the whole thing stopped, uh, and you guys were raging at me because what was I trying to do? I have no idea what I was trying to do, but I was, there's was something I was trying to do. And I was just do doing it hideously, and you guys were shouting at me what thing was, and I couldn't see it. <laughs> so it just stopped working. What night was that? Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this Silver Sage video. Um, if it's a better format for for what you guys want, um, I think it's a lot better. I think it's a lot more polished, and it's the kind of thing I want to go forwards with. I've learned a lot from doing it, um, definitely, and from like just generally just looking over my channel and going, you know, what what's good, what's not good, and what can we improve. I think it's a it's a major thing to actually start looking at. I guess they got some hay. Basically, I've put some hay in there, and they've got some food. There we go. There we go. Stay and stand. Boys talk. Thanks, man. There you go. It's working now. <laughs> it's just I wasn't sure if it was working. Fiona was bu busy posting in Discord. Oh. Well, that's not fair, is it? Ugh. Let me have a look. Because is this your... Is this more... Oh, my God. Fiona, do you mind if I show some, some people this? Some of these are really cool. Got a lot... Oh, man. You, oh, you've done a gypsy-type camp. I love those. I was thinking about that, that before... Yes, they're quite cool. But yeah, if you if you don't mind, you know, I'd like to show these on the on the stream very quickly because um, I quite like them. I like the styles, and I can actually see a face in one of the builds. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Gabe Beyblades, for subscribing. Don't know if uh, Gabe is actually watching the stream or not. If you are, thank you very much, man. Really do appreciate it. What the hell am I doing? I'm just running around like a goddamn idiot. Right, let's get some. Yeah, you know, a little bit of hay and, and crap around. Um, not too much though, I think that would do actually just a little bit. So they can come in at least, they can go into here, they can put their stuff up here. I kind of feel like this would be busier. Like they would have... I'm going to do... No, I want to do the wall first. I've got to get this wall done before I before I move on. Definitely, definitely need to do that. Hmm. Ah, that's good. Do you like my Dr. Pepper Zero? It's awesome. Harper says video was really good. It looks professional. Thanks, man. Yeah, it took a, it took a lot more time. It, it took a lot more time because I like the little YouTube button where you just click on it. Um, I had to watch a tutorial on that because they they put one up uh, for free, but it was purple. And I didn't want a purple. One. I wanted the red one. So <laughs> so it was a good way to get through the entire tutorial because it, it like obviously just uploaded what what he had done in it. But I was just like, no, I want it. I want it red. Uh, so I ended up having to sit there and do that, but then that's done. You know, that's that's it. That thing is absolutely done. Um, and the same with the green screen. My, you know, my little character as being green screened. Uh, that took a little while to do. Um, Conquest is really good actually because Conquest has green screen in it. So all I did is I just end up setting up uh, an actual area, you know, with the big green screen thing on it, and I was just like nodding and, and turning and and then turned around. That was it in front of it. Uh, I was able to put that in. Which I thought was really cool. Really, really cool. And the only thing I don't like with the character is that the character, when he's in there, uh, and, and I agree with you guys on the Discord, uh, when I was actually building at the same time as him talking, that then distracts you from the building part of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the little character when there's something. Say, if, for example, we were doing a video on this. I would then have like a little five second, just time lapse of the finished build, and I'd be going, hi guys, I'm going to be building this, you know, a merchant skill or whatever. Uh, and then when I go into the building, I'm just going to have it as that as the main thing. I think that's a really good way of doing it. But yeah, thanks, Trill. Yeah, I definitely made it feel a lot more alive, didn't it? It's just... Um, I don't know. It, it I kind of stole it a little bit from uh, Jerocraft, I'll be honest. Um, I was looking at his, and he does a lot of that. I think he does a little bit too much. He's got, like, the flying dragon coming down. And I I, I didn't want to do it that far. I thought it was a little bit over the top. I'm actually going to build a little, little area in here. Where we can put in some... Uh, 
you know, where I can put some stuff. But yeah, he does a lot of it, and I think it's a little bit too much. A little bit too much for what I would like. But um, his does look really good as well. So I kind of like looked at that, and I was like, that looks really good. I, I like that. Um, I want to use something like that. So totally did, did you know, um, you know, looked at his and went, yeah, that's that's something I want. Um, but there's other stuff that I didn't want uh, out of it as well. So it's you know, it's one of those give and take, <laughs> give and take of those. But his his uh, he just must spend an absolute age on all of his stuff, you know, absolutely ages. I'm just using this as a base at the minute. I'm going to destroy it. Don't worry. It's not going to be just all this like gravel type thing. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. I'm, I'm glad with it. I'm happy with it. I think there's still more to learn. There's still more to tweak. But it is so much better than what I did before. So that's the thing. Always moving forwards. Always going to move forwards. Um, is the main thing. But yeah. Um, pretty much, guys, just keep on commenting with the with anything that you think can be improved. Because uh, the more feedback I get, the more feedback that I get on on what's good and what's bad, the, the better it is for me, because I, I can then go, actually, you know, let's let's have a think about that. There's some stuff that I wasn't thinking about, I, just, I was just doing it, and um, it wasn't so good, you know? And it's, you know, I didn't, I didn't think it, I was like, oh, well, if that, that's how I've always done it, and well, that's not how I should be thinking, I should be thinking, how, how can I make my stuff better? How can I make, r like, better videos, which are, are more engaging, that you feel you're actually part of it, and this kind of stuff. Gonna steal some from Westroscraft uh, when, when I make my first uh, Let's Walk episode for your rum. Ah, oh, cool, man. Do it. Like the Westros, uh, Westros walks, wasn't it? Yeah. See, I used to do I used to do tours on uh, Westroscraft before they started doing those Westros walks. So I'm sure they've stolen some stuff of me, my original ones. But it's cool. It doesn't matter. Like it's not it's not really stealing stuff. It's um, like a tool. You know what I mean? Like it's just a a way of doing things. It's how you get better because you can take the good bits and then you can improve on them. You can make them your own. Uh, sorry, I just I, for some reason picked up this block and decided to place it down. Uh, yeah, make them your own and just tweak and tweak and tweak, pretty much. I see anything with these; they stick out like that. But brr, we'll go with that. Blah blah blah. Uh, right, I want some fence. I want some a bit of fence here. Uh, but one of the things I'm going to do more, guys, is I'm going to be doing more live streams because I'm going to be doing more time lapses and for to get time lapse stuff it takes quite a while uh, and the easiest way is to obviously I need to build <laughs> that's not the easiest thing uh, I do need to build no matter what uh, regardless of, of whatever I will be building so um, I think I'm going to be doing more time lapses on stuff I'm going to be like doing more of that kind of stuff I want to do some more a little bit more community stuff as well I think you know uh, so I've asked to do the um, on on uh, what's it called? It's not West. It's the it's the Conquest Westeros thing. Um, I've asked those guys if I can do some tours, and they're currently working on a couple things, um, and they're pretty happy for me to do some tours. So I am going to be doing some tours at some point on that. So I thought I'd put this little area in here for uh, hay and things like that for the for the horses. I think they would have that. You know, I think the guild is pretty pretty well together. You know, they'd have like they'd have all their stuff just you know together in their head um, have it working so I'm going to be doing some tools on that as well so I'm going to be doing some like uh, fly around type things I'm going to do a cinematic with that I've decided uh, I, was, I was looking at it again and going actually you know, me talking through all these like looking at the old videos I, I'm not finding it that engaging I'm not finding it that interesting so let's do let's do something where it is and I think that'll work I'll try it out for a couple of them where I fly around and talk about it and and really pick out the absolutely perfect points on it so Rick stop really likes the new building thanks man it's got uh nuzrio nuzrio something like that uh fiona danger in case you didn't see it uh showing you stuff is always cool cool okay let's have a look at fiona stuff um yeah i didn't didn't see it uh, honestly so what fiona's just posted uh we have got this um he posted even more of you god he posted even more um <laughs> Yeah, so uh, what we've got in the Discord is we have got a couple different channels, and they're all pretty damn cool. This I quite like. This to me is a face. This is like a dwarven face, because you've got like the eyes in here, the nose, and then you've got like a a, a mustache type thing. So actually, maybe more Nordic actually. That's just what I see, and I actually really like it. I really like it. I actually think it's a really cool style to do, um, especially with like the handlebar mustache type thing in the eyes. I actually think that would be quite cool. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but um, 
really like it. Then you got this kind of like start with the, I think it's the Orzima stuff, isn't it, that you're working on at the minute, Fiona? Um, so I quite like this. Uh, this like longhouse thing is pretty crazy actually uh, and, and the whole styles that you've done with it and also yeah these are always good like little cart um, like gypsy caravan type things are really really cool and there you go some more carts as well you can see but you guys are f always free to come onto the discord and post stuff it's really good um, to actually see it oh, I really like this I like the text pack actually and, and yeah the item, item frames I did not realise they were, they could go down until uh, Fiona actually posted some examples of like steak and stuff on top of them it looked really good there you go. And there's Fiona as well, sat on. Right, is that your like uh, your orc throne? <laughs> Where all the peasants just come in? That's pretty cool. But I, I do actually like the resource pack. I actually like it. It looks pretty cool. So anyway, let's get back onto this. Um, who else we got? I don't know Westeros Craft. There's Westeros Craft, which is it's been around for a long, long time. I'm guessing they've like rebuilt stuff because they always rebuild stuff. Uh, Fiona Fiona Dagger says it's supposed to be a deer skull. Ah. It still works, either way. But it looks really good. I like it. I quite like... Um, I don't know if you've ever had a game called Folktale. Um, I did start to do a couple of Minecraft builds in it. I really liked that. I loved the... Like, they had the bakery and it had a slice of bread coming out of the a thatch roof. <laughs> just, it looked like a toaster. It was, just, it was brilliant. Do you know what I mean? I don't know why I liked it so much. I need to rebuild that, actually, at some point. Right, so we've got this little area here, anyway. We've got, like, the little area for that. Uh, what else do we need? We need to keep on doing some of these. I know it's boring, but we could definitely do is doing some more. I actually like this one now. I didn't like it before. I think that looks okay. Um, definitely looks okay, so that'll do. But yeah, I really like it. Oh, right. So yeah, feel free, guys, always to post in in my Discord. Always. Um, honestly, it's it's one of the it's one of the coolest things actually to see is is how everybody's doing. Come on, i got to get this sub go up as well. If you guys can help me get to that uh, 150 subs by the end of the year, it would be awesome. Don't know how you can help me. <laughs> I guess just enjoy videos, I guess, is the only way really to do it. Uh, right, what can we have in this one? Is anyone got any ideas for what we can have in the next uh, uh, thing? I think what I'll do... It's going to be a little bit of a pain, really. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a pain. Have this here. I think we'll have to have it open like that. It's, this is going to be a real nightmare. This is going to have to be some, something small. And uh, Azaro's got a shower. Fair enough, man. You've got to keep your hygiene up. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad that you're showering and not showering, if that makes sense. Yep. I'm going to go with that makes sense, so we'll leave it as that. Um, yeah, if anyone's got any ideas for what you think this should be in, obviously not a shower. That would be very strange. But uh, we could probably do with something. I think smaller goods, because of the because of where it... Oh no, it destroyed something. Because it's a little bit smaller in terms of, you know, like the way you can get in. Same with these ones, really, actually. I know that I've got the main warehouse in here. They're going to have to unload. Hey! Ger Jerry Vol. Finally a stream. I'm guessing you're Jerry from, um... Uh, from the, uh... Jerry, Gary from... I don't, is it Jerry or Gary? Gary? From uh, from Discord, I'm guessing you're Gary from uh, just Discord. I'm gonna go with that. Also got Harlow Gaming as well. How's it going? Good to see you on Mixer as well. It's always good. I'm pretty sure Harlow, you are the only person that watches me on Mixer, um, and it's the reason that I'm still streaming to Mixer, by the way. <laughs> so I really do appreciate it. Hopper BN2 cloves. Well, that's different. Wood storage. That's good as well. These are some damn good ideas. I also got uh, Badan as well. How's it going, Badan? Welcome to the stream, man. I'm glad that YouTube recommended you the stream. Um, really glad. Um, but yeah, we pretty much do a lot of Minecraft content on this on this channel. Um, as you'll, uh, if you have a look around, you you can like see that. Uh, and we're currently building a. It's kind of like a Rohan-inspired city. Um, we've been building it for quite a while, um, and we're basically doing the time lapses for it. So when we do live streams, I'm actually building stuff and I'm recording it with replay mods so that we can do a time lapse later on and then you'll have an episode like, it'll take about a month to do like an episode you actually then get to see everything that we could do on here uh, can happen and I kind of do it on the streams because I find it works really well for uh, everything else. Hey, thank you very much Harlow uh, for hosting my stream man. Thank you so much man. It's pretty cool. Thank you dude. I'm actually surprised it came up as a notification. I did not know the alerts worked like that. <laughs> Um, Jardy Shader Pack, none. 
default. <laughs> There's none at the minute. Haven't got any at all, Jardy. No. Potato says Ryan. All right. Uh, you got Jerry. That I'm that Dutch weirdo. I've got lots of them. I've got. There's so many Dutch people. I, I swear, half of my Discord is Dutch. More than half, actually. The active ones are always Dutch. So interesting. Yeah. Black Pepper Productions. How's it going, man? It's been a little while. And we got Droopy TV. Uh, hello from YouTube and Twitch. It's really cool. It's good that we got them all free. I don't know if anyone else is watching any of the other ones. Probably not. Um, well, apparently we got one viewer. Oh, no, it's Mixer. That's Mixer, yeah. Oh, Periscope and Smashcraft. I've never had a viewer on Periscope or Smashcraft. So I don't know why I'm bothering even doing that at all. Who knows? Yeah. Right, okay. So wood was a really good one. Uh, really good idea, actually. And it makes perfect sense, you know. Firewood and things like that are really important. Where the hell is it? It's, it's logs or something, isn't it? It's, there we go. That's the one. Yeah, that's a really important thing um, to have around. I Oh, actually, I don't know if they'd have it in the Merchant Guild, though. You think about how much money the Merchant Guild would be having in for its members. Because they usually long trade rather than local trade. I actually don't think wood would work for this reason. Um... But we do need a wood store somewhere. It's a really good idea. Mixer loves says Harlow Gaming. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, so we do need a wood store somewhere. Actually, these are little warehouses. Tell you what, let's, have, let's make one of these a wood store. Is that one, that's one that's a weird angle. That one's not a weird angle. Well, since it's all just like a, a bunch of wood anyway, let's put a load of this in here and just have it all stacked up and whatnot. And mix the different things and <laughs> shove everything on top of everything and who knows what's going on anymore. Is that working? That's weird, that one. To me, texture wise, that one does not fit, even though it's that one. And when you put that one on, it does fit. That one does fit. And that one fits. Oh, maybe there's an issue with the uh the whole thing. I don't know, who knows? Who knows? Right, okay, so we've put that in there. Let's put that up there. Let's do one there as well. There we go. Have like a little wood store type thing in there. We do need to sort out the roof of this thing as well. Uh, I know this is totally, completely random compared to what we were actually building, but it's a really good idea, and actually I didn't have one, so if we can get it done, well, then we're one step closer to finishing a little bit more. <laughs> I don't know. It'll be closer to something anyway. Right. There you go. Something simple like that. Little wood store. Definitely, absolutely required. Totally required. But I think we have to think... These goods in here, like, these are wines from somewhere, you know. Somebody's traded, and they're part of the guild, uh, and they're storing it here because it's more expensive goods. Uh, Jerry, Gary, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Conquest. We are Dutch, says Ryan. See, there's so many There's so many Dutchies. So many Dutch. You've got Trills, half Dutch. I don't know. I thought, I thought you were Nord, man. Trill. I thought you were like a, a, a proper proper Viking. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, you are going to be a proper Viking compared to a lot of uh, a lot of us. Um, my actual ancestry is actually from from the Vikings. It's from uh, Denmark, so that's pretty good. So when they came over and uh, pillaged and stole all the lands off the, the, I guess it would have been the Angles or no, it was, I can't remember. God, my history's gone. Because when was it? When when we had Danelaw? God knows. Anyway, well, that was like Alfred the Great kind of era, wasn't it? Yeah. It's got it's so complicated history. It's too long. Hey, thank you very much, Droopy, for following me, man. Really do appreciate it. Uh. Oh, so Trill was actually half a Viking, half a Duchy. Duchy Dutch. Hollander. I don't know what you want. What you would call yourself? Half Dutch. I feel it's half Dutch, but purely Canadian. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh, whatever. All right. Swedish Doctor Plastic. Good to see, you, man. I just got bars as well. Uh, hey, it's Aiden as well. Oh, yeah, Aiden. Um, I, I'm pretty active with the chat, so um, I don't really do shoot shout outs, but I will just like say your name when I've got a comment because it just makes more sense anyway. 
My mum and her family were Vikings, of course. Well, that makes you that makes you part of Viking, right? You know, ah, it does make you a Viking. Which I mean, like, yeah, it's fine. Uh, right. So we didn't really come up with anything in here because uh, I don't know why, but <laughs> we are going to now. It is it will be done. It shall be done. I think we'll have more. Um, this kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? What they called uh, shells? <laughs> we we'll have one of these uh, shelf things. Uh, oh, YouTube has a five-second delay from Twitch. Does it? Oh, it shouldn't do. It should all be exactly the same. But because I'm using Restream, so Restream should be pretty good. Um, so I'm literally streaming to Restream, and then Restream is streaming from there. But shame there's a five-second delay. Uh, different though, you never know, you know, it's, it's totally, totally there, isn't it? But I don't know, whatever, cool. Um, right, should we do something where it actually extends out? Should we do some, like, weird, no, that's going to be, that's going to look stupid. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What am I going on about? So what did you miss today? Um, not too much, actually. We've been building a little bit on the Merchant's Guild, so I've got, uh, you know, like, you know, we started this about 10 minutes ago, finished this whole building, you know, pff, pretty easy. Um, no. Um, I built this off camera quite a while ago for part of the uh, next Hemberg uh, time lapse video. Um, and we've been just building, like, little bits and bobs. So we've got, like, a couple stables in here, didn't have that before. Um, I like how I just left these ones in here. Like, I just, I just completely, I completely went off track there. Um, so yeah, we got like a couple stables for the merchant's guild. We've got a little hay storage area. We've got like some more goods in here. We've got some coal, which could be expensive, I guess. I don't really know. Um, <laughs> we've also got some barrels, crates, and all that kind of stuff around here. So building like another another bit of storage um, in here. We're gonna put some stuff in it, I guess. Not much, really, man. Not much. Um, not too much at all. Uh, I will be streaming later on today as well, or. Either streaming or it'll be on Zaris's channel. I think it might be on Zaris's channel. We might try and boost his channel a little bit. Uh, but we're going to be doing some Star Wars stuff. to be a little bit different. It's more Viking to have half-breeds with other people along the North Sea. Despite um, being less Nord, you're definitely double Viking. That's true, actually. Yeah, that is true. That is true, yeah. Yeah, Vikings are, are a mix. So, you know, pillage and all that kind of stuff. It's great. Uh, can you join 1566? Unfortunately, not a single player, this one. We'll be doing some like uh, we'll be doing some other videos at some point with subscribers, so that'd be quite good. Uh, what we're we doing some other stuff. I don't know what we'll do. We'll see. Definitely. Ooh, right. Okay. So I think uh, let's have a look at some goods. Let's think of some stuff that's not that heavy. So I can't do like gold nuggets. Oh yeah, I, I know. We're just gonna trade some uh, gold nuggets. Would they, would they do that and gold coins in a, in, a, in a goddamn sack? I mean, I don't think so. Fancy cheese. <laughs> Make some extra s cheese storage with some special type cheese that would be more valuable. Oh, the fancy cheese. We've already got a whole cheese shop, man. We've got a whole... they got a whole cellar. I don't reckon they'd need it because, I mean, you know, we've got all this at the minute. I mean, look, how much more cheese do you want in a goddamn city? Do you know what I mean? We've got all these Pratost, we've got Federento. Uh, Castello, uh, Ras Rasimir. I need to make a place called Rasimir, definitely. And then downstairs, you know what they got? They got more damn cheese. <laughs> and turnips as well, apparently. Turnips and potatoes. Uh, turnip, potatoes, cheese, cabbage, and cheese. Um, that's pretty much it. And they don't like vampires. I decided that, that putting up those now means you don't like vampires. Uh, for whatever reason, you know. <laughs> God knows. Ugh. So Swedish Dr. Plastic has said fixed your and then unfortunately because I'm using Restream it's come out with exclamation mark question mark webcam? <laughs> I'm guessing it means webcam. Yeah I did. I had to remove it from every single scene that you've got or, or, or that I've got on um, uh, OBS and then add it back in and then it just worked. It was like it was locked every time it opened but yeah. Do you think more cheese? Do you think we need more cheese? If you guys think we need more cheese, I'll put more cheese in there. Um, I just think we might. <laughs> we might. Yeah, you're going for cheese. Uh, Vlad Riot's got to go and make some coffee. Fair enough, man. So right, I've got to go in not too long, um, like a little bit, and I've got to go and make some roast. I'm gonna make some roast dinner. It's gonna be nice. 
So yes, yeah, so we'll have some cheese up there. We'll get a ladder in here as well. I might have it where it looks like one of those ladders that, uh, that moves across the ground. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I'm actually going with stone, stair, cobblestone. <laughs> Oh, actually, this dark grey one will actually work on it. I was thinking, like, doing, like, a little... Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, like, uh, uh... Library and things like that, that they have the, uh, ladders that move? Why wouldn't they have it in here? Do you know what I mean? They would totally have this here. So, I have this one, like, where it can actually, you know, move. That's the idea of this, this thing here. You know, slide it across to be able to get to certain little bits and bobs. Uh, so I think if we're going to have cheese up here, we can also have some other goods as well. So what would be rare here? I think cocoa would. Cocoa would definitely be quite rare. Uh, even apples wouldn't be so rare, actually. Uh, but wine and things like that would be. Elven wine, see? We could even have some... We could look a little bit fancier. We have a couple of those. Because uh, cheese and wine, totally go. Totally do go. So that would definitely work, wouldn't it? Uh, the only thing I don't like about this one is the... I just don't like the the top of it. And I know why they've done it. It does look more more elven. I just don't like it more. You want more cheese. Jesus Christ. Fruit <laughs> fruit storage um, uh, of meat would be better. Yeah, meat and stuff like that. Sausages. Sater sausages. All right, yeah. <laughs> oh, if you don't have enough cheese to wait out a siege, it's not enough. I like that. It kind of rhymes. That's really good, Fiona. I like that. Um, I actually do like that. Hello, Gaming. I tweeted you out. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. Do appreciate it. I'm just going to Twitter actually. I haven't got it open at the minute. But it's always good. Right. Hey. Thank you, man. Right, here we go. I'll, I'll like your tweet. I'll even say thanks, buddy. But I really do appreciate it. Um, you guys showing, showing stuff that I do it really does help me. Um, because I am a small streamer, it's true. I am a small, stre small streamer at the minute. God, I can't, if I can speak, that is. Um, Alright, okay, let's have this as like more food, and we'll have this one as more wine type stuff in here. You know? And get the bottles out. Bottle, bottle, bottle. We'll have one broken as well, obviously, because, you know, every so often they do fall off and they do smash and um, stuff like that. You got a ketchup bottle there. Uh, it's a shame we can't do something, you know, similar to, to some other blocks where, depending on where, how you place it, it will change it. Uh, I really do like it when they've got those kind of like features in there. It's really cool. Right, so there we go. More ketchup, apparently. I don't want any more ketchup. <laughs> uh, do, does anyone else see it as ketchup, or is it just me? Is it just me that's completely mad and thinks of that as a ketchup block? Uh, that doesn't really work. Yeah, move that all the way over to there, and then do the same over here as well. There you go. And we'll have the same kind of thing with the ladder. Uh, it's just this time we'll have it like there or whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter as much. There you go, have something like that, so it'll be in the middle. For whatever reason, they've put it in the middle, uh, which is absolutely fine. doesn't really matter. There you go, something like that. Uh, I feel like that one would be underneath here, and then you have that one up there. If we're going to do it that way, and then have like that there. I'll just have a couple of bottles of the finest wine across the empire. Obviously, it's not an empire, but... Um, there we go, have some of that, got some cheese. What else would you have around cheese, guys? Any ideas? You're not housing Brie Larson. <laughs> cheese for speed, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Might be some blocks that can simulate cheese, you know. Uh, it's all about being more creative. Yeah, I know. But that's not what it's about anymore. <laughs> well, actually it is. There, there probably is. The problem, the problem I've got with Conquest, um, so I keep on just looking at it, and I just keep on going, I just get whatever it is that's there. Um, as soon as I go into default, I have to be creative, and therefore it kind of like works a little bit better. It's a shame I've got Metacycler, because I'd really like to uh, try and cut that up somehow, do you know what I mean? There you go, right, anyway. Let's get some other stuff. What else would be seemingly expensive that they might have? Oh, look at that. I never understood this one. I never understood the wine keg. Because it's like open, I guess it's I guess it's so that you know if you're you're actually actively making stuff, then then you've got it. And that that does make sense. Um, but I've never really seen it as anything. I think cocoa would be uh, a thing. Sorry, I'm just complete random going off topic there. Um, I think we could have some 
with some cocoa around, can we? Like a couple sacks of cocoa, and I think it would come in sacks. That'll be from the jungles. Um, Say sausages, of course. I don't think they'd mix them with the meat, though. I think they'd keep them separate, probably. Depends, doesn't it? I, they are medieval, after all, so I, I don't think they'd that care that much. You know? Got some sausages up there. There we go. Just a couple more sausages just randomly hanging around. Um, have some of those. Have something else. Xbox is superior. Uh, I'd, no. <laughs> I mean, you've got so much more on PC. You know, mods are just so much easier. You got stuff like Replay. You got stuff like uh, World Painter. I think PC is always good. I totally understand why people like Xbox. There's something about playing consoles that's that's good. Uh, personally, I've got a well, it's not really console, it's obviously handheld, uh, the, the new DS, uh, 2DS XL, I freaking like it, I love it. You could uh, use one thing and make it a, a, a lit for it, make it a lit for it, Gary, what do you mean, buddy? What you talking about? You have reminded me of something though, just with saying lit, because I haven't got any of these at all. could really do a chain, so, yeah, I think small chain, I think they're going to be quite... Fancy, really. We'll have something like that, you know. Try and change the candle in that. You're a bit screwed, aren't you? Let's move that over here. Um, there you go. Move that over to there, or even have it go down one. Go down one more. There we go. Yeah, have it like there or whatever. So they can actually just grab that and, and pull it up and whatever. Whatever it. Uh, right, this one here. Let's go for yeah here and just there. So they can have a little light there. Um, you can use the one thingy and make a lip for it. Damn, I can't think. Can't understand. I don't know. Uh, that wine thingy, that keg thingy, or however you call it. <laughs> you can, oh, make a lid on it. Ah, right, okay. It's, it's only because of lit. That was the only thing. So I was thinking lit, light, it just my brain started going there. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right, man. I totally understand you now. Gah, you Dutch people with your Dutchness. I can't put this anywhere. Uh, unless I put it here. Oh no, shit, I can't put anything on top of it. Literally, the only place I can put it is on top of the ketchup, uh, where the ketchup is. We'll put it there. Look, we'll put it in there. No, good idea, man. Thank you very much, Gary. I'm going to go with Gary. Please do cor uh, correct me. I'll, I'm sure I'll, I'll be on the, the voice chat at some point. Just literally just tell me how you pronounce your name. Stainy Stan, for example. I've still not got that right. And um, I was calling him Stigin Stan. Totally wrong. I mean, it's, it's, it wasn't even spelled that way. <laughs> so, yeah. Just the way it is. We'll have some of that ketchup as well. That one's, that was more ketchup. I think that one's more... Wine, I think that's more of a ketchupy type of thing now. So some stuff in here like that. Um, some minor things like that. They've not got as much cheese at the minute. That's a bit bit weird, isn't it? Um, <laughs> don't know what else can put up there. It's a bit weird. It's a bit difficult to kind of like come up with things. I think we're just putting some random crates and stuff because that always looks good. Um, just vary everything. Sausages, jerky, and cheese store fine together. It's uh, if it's bright enough um, that they're spilling into each other, uh, then you have more problems than putting together. Okay, fair enough then. It's one bright enough. Yeah, fair enough. Cool. That'd be good then. We'll just go with that then. So I think at the minute they're doing some stuff here and they've got some cheese on top of that one or whatever. Um, put this in. Not that there. It's weird because I don't want to put anything on the central bit because I think it'll just look weird and a little bit like it's full, but actually I'm thinking now. Yeah, put a chest on there. Maybe even have this chest go into here. Even have the little crate there. Put that there. And then we get a big... Oh, no, it's more ketchup. Damn it. Yeah, just like little little bits and pieces is all you really need, isn't it? You know? You don't need a lot sometimes. Yeah, that looks good. Gurgen. Is it Gurgen? But it's a g g probably because it's a Dutch name with the Dutch G and J and R. So, um, sure, I'll tell you in the voice thinking, cool. <laughs> That's good, yeah, because I'm just thinking, like, um, 
Yeah, because like a uh, bechapen is like hair. Uh, it's that like, uh, hair sound. I don't know. Hair sound. So I've, I kind of like that one, but I haven't really seen the G in much. Except for like hell hood, hell hood, hood, hood. But I can't say that. Apparently, I murdered that one as well. So um, I was told that because I thought like hell hood was good, but I was apparently saying something else. I wasn't saying very good. I was saying something else. Hood. So it's more like uh, Harry. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, sorry, buddy. Yeah. Um, we'll get there. Oh, it's got, uh, Demon, Demon T. Draco 13 watching on YouTube inspired me to stream. Cool, man. Awesome. That's always good. It's always good if, like, people get inspired to do something. It's really good. It's weird northern languages. Uh, it's just Dutch. It's how it's written. Uh, <laughs> Dutch isn't that bad, right? I can, I can quite, uh, it's not like I can understand it, but, um, when I when I listen to Dutch, I can kind of go, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I can I can kind of get a couple words out of that, and uh, it's just that when I write them into Google, it says, "Dude, did you mean?" and it has this totally different text in it, and you just go, "I I don't know if that's what I meant because that that's not how I would spell it." <laughs> uh, I don't know. Right, so anyway, actually that looks alright. That looks pretty cool. This one looks pretty cool. This one looks pretty cool. So we're doing pretty good, actually. I'm just wondering what we should do in terms of time-wise. I think we'll go for another 15 minutes or so. So let's get, for this part of the time-lapse, so we'll be flying around this bit here. We'll get this bit in here. We'll get all these bits in here. This bit's the next kind of stop, you know? Yeah, this is the next bit that stops. But I don't know. So, out of here, I think this is just going to be crates and stuff, because out in this part here, this is not going to be a bit that's, like, locked. Um, you know, you have a guard, like, around here, you have a guard, like, around here, and that'll be it. You know, they'll be pretty much just chilling around. We can actually do a little guard huts or, or like, sitting areas or something like that. Um, hey, thank you very much, Injured Muffin 2 for subscribing, man. You are helping me get to 150,000 subscribers this year. That's the goal. Um... I don't think it'd just be sat there, but let's um let's get a little guard hut in, because I think there'd probably be. Where would you put one? Where would you put a guard? Like, honestly, in here. <laughs> what do you think? Like here, like putting a little hut, because you'd be no, you wouldn't be able to see everything, would he? It's not gonna work. Did I just get rid of that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Um. You won't be able to see everything from there. God, no, we'll sort that out later. We'll sort the walls out first. It'll be really good. Yeah, see, um, see, I'm gonna go with Gary for the time being. Um, yeah, the grammar I don't have much of a problem with. I've never had a problem with grammar as long as the rules are pretty consistent. Um, and yeah, I know that's kind of like a bit weird because I'd say pretty consistent because you know all languages are just weird. English is one of the worst ones, I think. Like, it's just dreadful. Absolutely and utterly dreadful for grammar rules. It just, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, pronunciation as well with English. You you can read something and pronounce it like two, three different ways. And only one of those is right. And it's usually the one that doesn't seem right. <laughs> like, it just breaks all the rules. That's that's the easiest way with English, I think. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really mind the grammar rules. Grammar rules are cool with me. Um... No problem. No, no problem at all with grammar rules. Uh, it's just pronunciation. It's one of those things that you have to get... You have to practice it over and over and over and over again. Uh, I'm currently learning Mandarin, Chinese. And that is a very interesting language. I actually quite like it as a language. It's so simple. I don't think I'll have those. Uh, it's so simple. Um, it really is. In terms of like the way that they structure everything. It's, it's really nice. It's really refreshing. But pronunciation-wise, there's stuff in there that is just difficult, uh, really quite difficult. And it's because it's like uh, shi, you know, shi. It's like it's more. When I when I tried to write it down, I wrote it down as shi, like that shi. But it's shi, it's more shi, you know, wa shi. It's more like that. So it's a bit different. And that really weirded me. That that just took ages for me and it's just practice. It's all it is is practice. 
But with Dutch, uh, I can't read it at all and understand it. Whereas at least with Chinese, I can't read it. <laughs> but I say that, and um, I've started doing... Uh, I don't know if any of you guys use it. Duolingo. Um, some bits are very good, some bits are very terrible. But I've started to use, like... Actually, I'm going to have this like an empty empty thing. You know, like, they've got, like, crates and stuff that's been used. That would make a lot more sense. They don't have to protect that then. So, like, say they've got all the goods, they've taken them out, they've sold them to whoever, all the shops. Uh, this is where they just have crates and stuff that can then be stored. Um... So can do Svenskar Lord Daka. No, <laughs> I can I can try and read it in a um, in a Swedish accent, but I cannot un I can't do it. Um, but like um, oh, what is it? I wanted to learn Swedish a while ago because I wanted to do. Well, I was looking for master's degrees actually. This is before I'd finished my degree, and I haven't finished my degree. Um, but I was looking for masters, and I was actually looking at Sweden as a place to go for that because they had some really good courses. Surprisingly. I say surprisingly because I was just like I was not thinking that that would be the place where I'd go at all. I just didn't didn't associate it. Um, but that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I did have a look at it, like Yar Komer and all that kind of stuff. It's something like that, like Yug. It's like Yag, but again, I read that and it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, who knows? And that's all I learned. Uh, that was using the thing that was hideous to learn with. Um, oh, I found it. I, it didn't work for me. <laughs> Jack Thunder. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, Droopy. That's that's what I always think as well. Whenever I uh, whenever I see it written, I was I don't think Yag or whatever it is, but I always think Jag. <laughs> so Jag's Jag's just ingrained onto us. I think you know. There we go. Yeah, in, empty stuff there really works. Actually, just spamming crap on there. We could put a lid on these. Oh, no. It's stuck for lid there, because... Now, wait, isn't there a way to do this? Yeah, there is, isn't there? I am amazed at, um... I am amazed at stuff. Like in Jaeger, yeah. I thought it's more like Yog rather than Ye. It's more of n less, than, less of an A sound, like, uh, that can, like, uh, German A with two dots on the top of it. How's it going, Razor Dawn? Good to see you, man. Speak Spanish. Um, uh, can I speak Spanish? I over the years I've learnt bits of it. I've never completely learnt it. Oh, we haven't got. Oh, I haven't got any fence gate in that. That's annoying. I've just never, never really learnt it. Never really done it. Um, but yeah, I, I can speak bits of it. It depends on on uh, what you want to say. My Spanish is really kind of like simlaut. The umlaut. Yeah, umlaut. Ooh, yeah. I speak both English and American. Well, you say that, Vlad, but you'll be surprised. There's some stuff in an American accent which I can't say because... Well, it's not that I can't say it. It's I can't think in the way to say it like that. So, um, yeah. And there's a lot of different Americans as well. Uh, I think we could do with some like crates and crap around here as well. You know, just like little, little bits of trash. Taking out the trash. <laughs> So uh, very interesting, but yeah. What else anyway? Uh, yes, yeah, so Spanish. Inter it's a good language. It's very good language. Very good language to learn in terms of if, you, if you're wanting to travel the world or anything like that. It's one of those like, it's just a brilliant language to learn for that. And it's a really nice language. I really like Spanish. It's just um, it's well, because of the way that the British people are. Whenever we go on ab abroad, we usually end up speaking um, English. <laughs> because we're terrible at that. So we end up just like speaking normal English. And usually usually what happens is I will try to speak a little bit of Spanish. And then they just end up answer me, answering me in English. That really annoys me. That annoys me so much. Because it's like, damn man, I'm trying here. I understand that it's almost like I'm I'm speaking a weird weird version of Spanish or whatever. Uh, usually Mexican kind of Spanish because I, I usually forget um, usually forget to you know use the TH sound rather than the so for example información I'll say instead of información I'll, I'll, I'll say it like that instead you know the, the first way. So um, uh, you know it's like that. I always forget. But it's just the way it is. Right okay so we've got some stuff there. We need some stuff around here and I think we will end up just doing something with this wall first. 
So, well, no, can kind of get sentences if they're five words or less. Absolutely, yeah. You can, you can, uh, you can get the ball over the net is what they call it. Um, get the ball over the net. Finnish and Estonian are quite confusing languages to me because I know German, and while German is super strict about the grammar rules in Estonian, umlaut something do sometimes do nothing. Oh, okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, I've never, I've never listened to Finnish or Estonian actually. Not, not really. It's one of those. TH sound is so freaking hard to do. Karathon. Not not so much. It's it's very th 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 th. You know what I mean? Whereas you uh, you can get away with it. Like people understand it if you say Karathon, or having a Karathon, they will understand it. But um, uh, you know, information. <laughs> it's it's just practice. But I don't know. It's just weird. It's just the way. It's just the way it is, isn't it? Who knows? Who knows what's easy or not? Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I was just thinking, hey, I can put that down. Yay! <laughs> no, I can't. So putting little bits of little bits of stuff really, and it's not really going to be that major here. Do I like building hubs by any chance? Never have. <laughs> like built a hub, I mean. Um, need to do one at some point with the server stuff we'll be working on, definitely. But. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I'd enjoy it. It's just, it's one of those things. I usually let other people just get on with it because they're so much better at it. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? I always sound like these uh, stereotypical World War Two bad guys. Uh, what in? What in clip? What, what language? <laughs> what what language? What Spanish? I'd, you sound like a bad guy, a World War, uh, World War Two bad guy in Spanish. Is the British bollocks the equivalent of the American crap? Kind of, sort of, maybe. It's um, it depends where you're from. The problem, the, right? With similar to American English, English, British English has lots of different dialects and has lots of different um, Lots of different ways you can say something, um, but yeah, you will, you will, you would say bollocks like crap. You would, you would switch it in that kind of case, uh, or bollocks to that. But th this is the thing: you can get yeah, phrases like bollocks to that, which means um, screw that. Would probably be the American kind of way, or I'm not doing that. If you want the kind of like translation, you know, bollocks to that, bollocks to that, mate. Do you know what I mean? It's like that. It's like really, yeah, it's like that. So it's a, it's a bit of a Bit of a weird one with English, because yeah, it's a bit mixed. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> Depends. And that never helps. Good tag. Hello, Big Mac. Um You're in Chile and uh had that happen to me before. Didn't realise it annoys people when I speak to them in English. Just never mind. Oh yeah man, like if I was gonna speak to you in Spanish I'd say Hola, you know, uh, or something like that. You know, I'd 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 like it to be in English, uh, not in English. I'd like to be in Spanish because then, then I can say, uh, you know, uh, God, I cannot remember anything. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I've not practiced any like Spanish phrases. So my mind is not thinking like I'm thinking like, how do I say this in Spanish? And that's not how my brain works. My brain works by uh, coming up with a sentence and then applying rules to it in order to make it, I guess. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Gally C Z for subscribing. Um, but yeah, yeah. I I always want to if if I go to another language and speak Spanish. If my Spanish is terrible, then you guys should be like, yeah. Uh, I, do you mind if I speak Spanish with you, or or do you mind if we speak English? <laughs> you know, which is fine. Or if you want to practice it, then it's not a problem. Then it's then it's being polite and you're, you're just kind of like saying it. But uh, yeah. Uh, in Spanish we have like 25 verb tenses, yes, yeah, yeah, I used to be like pro in Russian when I was a kid, Rose, uh, Russian is very cool, but it gets complicated quick, yeah, so, now I can't, uh, Rizlon says now I can't do simple sentences, a Brit says bah bollocks, never heard that before, I've never had bah bollocks, it's more like bollocks mate, you know, 
it's usually got this kind of landing kind of thing. Oh, bollocks to that, mate. Yeah, it's always like that. It's kind of like... And this is my, my way of doing the kind of like London accent. Uh, well, it's more Cockney, actually. That A very Cockney kind of... Rather than generic, kind of like london -y accent. But, uh... london -y? London accent. Um, but, yeah. Oh, dear. Right, okay. It's looking a little bit better. I think all the little bits and bobs... I don't like that one, though. I think all the little bits of carpet have really helped, except where I've I've just gone carpet, carpet, carpet. Why would I do that? Oh, that's annoying. All right, okay, let's let's end up just moving that into not there, you idiot. There, and we'll put something like that in there. Yes, yeah, more like that. Anyway, our item. <laughs> yeah, tense in Spanish with a part I failed at school. Um, I wouldn't worry about it too much because. Uh, I can tell you that the English, the amount of people that get things wrong, is incredible. Really, um, I've got I work with a guy called from Preston, right? So Preston's quite north in uh, England. He will miss out entire words, and that's part of his accent. <laughs> so I say, oh well, went down there and went, went to go 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 to uh, go went down shop, right? And uh, and there was two lads there going there and went to. Uh, Went there. Do you know what I mean? And you'll be like, "What the hell did you just say?" Uh, it's like yesterday. He said, oh, "What did he say?" He said something like, "Leave that over there." And I thought him said, "I thought he said Lauren's underwear or something like that." I was like, "Leo, yeah." <laughs> and he literally said, "Leo, yeah." <laughs> I was like, "Leave that over there, Leo, yeah." It was the weirdest thing. It was so, so weird. But seriously, so native English speakers, I've been working for like two, year, two and a half years now. I still don't understand what he's saying. So trust me, I'm pretty sure most languages are the same where um, <laughs> you can say things completely wrong and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like you could just say, went down shop. <laughs> went down shop. Like not, I went down the shop. I went down the shop as well. You would say, went down shop. Just miss them out, you know, and that's that's. And he, he's a native English speaker from wherever he is. Anyway, I think I'm ending the stream there. Anyway, guys, and uh, we can then start. Well, I can I can make some food. <laughs> we can't make some food. Uh, I haven't got enough to feed all you guys. That'd be crazy. That'd be cool though, but definitely crazy. So yeah, regional dialects are weird. Definitely, yeah, really weird. Raised on in my country, you travel like a hundred kilometers and you can't tell what language people are speaking anymore. It is like that. Seriously, it is. It is so bizarre. And you just think uh, you're gonna have to see it. The thing is, like Scottish is the furthest away from me, and I can understand Scottish like accents. I'm like, oh, you're right, there, laddie. Yeah, we're gonna go down there, aren't you? Yeah, lass. You know, there's little bits that are really strange. You know. Well, we're we're going to have a look at all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They'll do this like weird thing where they just can like slur things, and you just go, "What?" They'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just think that is so unclear. One of the dialects even adds different sounds and letters that don't exist normally. Yep, that exists. Yep, as well as how they, um, as well as uh, the, the pronunciation ways. I always find that the the more like regional accents you get is is a lot different. Um, oh yeah, when you meet a guy from Liverpool, I can't understand him. Yeah, that's fair enough, Harvey. I've got a guy from Liverpool on my team, so uh, he's not that Scouse though. He's not. He's not too bad. Scouse is really, really difficult to do an accent on, so I can't really do it. Uh, it's really kind of difficult. Yeah. Anyway, um, Irish is also pretty fun to listen to. Yeah, it's not too bad. So Irish is um, uh, there's there's different types of there's different Irish accents. There's uh, if I can think of it. Top of the morning to you. So we're gonna gonna go over there, and if, it's it's very musical. I I can't really do it. It's really difficult. So we're we're gonna be building in Minecraft today. Nah, that's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. I can't do it at the minute. It's because I've started doing northern accents, and it starts. My brain just goes like that. Because you got to remember all the different ways that they do things in order to to speak things. So anyway, guys, uh, that is gonna be it. I have no idea who's posting at the minute or what they're saying. Whatsoever, no idea, no idea at all. Uh, that to me looks like Korean or Japanese. It doesn't particularly look like Chinese to me, but I wouldn't really know. <laughs> 
But yeah, anyway. Um, cool. I think it's Korean. I think that is Korean. I'm Siham Nida. I can't remember what that means, but that's what I remember from Korean. And I say it with a Japanese kind of like way of saying it because it always, to me, seems more. Uh, like it's got like a Japanese thing to it, really. Come Siham Nida. Um, but anyway. Thanks, guys. Um, I will see you on the next stream. We'll be doing something later with Zarius. So uh, if you guys fancy uh, kind of watching that, we're going to be building Lars Homestead from... Um, yeah, we're going to be doing the Lars Homestead from Star Wars. That's going to be really good. Uh, if it is Chinese, then ni hao. There we go. There's some, there's some Chinese for you. Um, that's about it. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see it. Anyway, see you guys later. I'm just going to stare at the camera a little bit, because I know that it, it just cuts out randomly, so... I'm just going to say bye, and I'm just going to keep on waving, staring madly into the camera.